Welcome to the circle of life and how to play it. I'm going to ask you to start out tonight with imagining you're going on a journey. You're going traveling, and you've decided you're going to drive. The car is in tip-top shape, totally maintained, the gas tank's full, the oil's checked, everything's A-OK. -okay. The house is all packed up, totally taken care of, nothing to think about with the house, doors are locked, all set. You're sitting in front of the AAA office. You know exactly where it is that you're going. You're going to get maps. There's one thing you need to know before you can get your maps. What do you need to know? Where you, going? Oh, you, you already know exactly where you're going. You know what your destination is. You've got to know where you are, right? <laughs> if you don't know where you are, you can't get a map to where you want to go, can you? Well, that's exactly where we want to head tonight, is into a map that tells us where we are. Oftentimes, the mind plays the trick of pretending we're somewhere that we're not. And so, what we're going to look at tonight is, is two paths that we can travel in life. We call it the upper path and the lower path. The path to being a loser in life, simply because of the way we travel, and the path to being a winner with the idea of really truly being 100% honest with yourself about where you are so that you can see the, the road you need to travel to get where you want to go. If I want to come go to, uh, let's say, Fort Lauderdale, Florida, it's going to be a much different trip from Omaha, Nebraska than it's going to be from Los Angeles, California. If I think I'm in Omaha but I'm really in LA, am I ever going to make it to Fort Lauderdale? Not likely could be a tough trek. And so in human terms, we want to look at tonight what it is that causes us to end up being winners in our lives and what it is that causes us to end up being losers in our lives. There's a definable path to travel to each, each destination. And the idea of what we're going to present is to be able to look at yourself and where you are in your life, honestly, so that if it's not where you really want to be, number one, you can see what the alternative is and have a, a mechanism by which to get where you want to go. The person who travels the lower path, even if they can force life and squeeze out of life everything that they want, they still will never be happy. And because of the way they've lived their lives, they'll end up losers. How many of you have known people who you would say, well, they've got it all, except for a shred of happiness? And the person who travels on the upper path, even if they don't seem to be getting what it takes, what they should be getting out of life, they're going to end up being winners simply because of the way they've traveled through life. And so we're going to present the upper and the lower path with the idea of not, not looking to assess where other people are. It really isn't our business where somebody else is. Oftentimes another mechanism of avoidance can be, oh boy, I know somebody who's down, oh yeah, I know somebody who lives there, oh yeah, they really do do that. And it's a way of not looking at the fact that if we're pointing the finger at somebody else being there, that's probably where we are. And especially if there's disturbance or upset about where somebody else is, that's a guarantee, that's where we are. But we're blocking the truth about that. And most people tend to live in blockage of truth. Being able to honestly assess where you are in the path opens up to the capacity to love the truth. And loving the truth is the solution to blockage of truth. It allows you to see where you are, and from there you can take real, true action to change and really move in the direction that we want to go.